Mathematics and art may seem like two concepts at odds, left brain versus right brain, logic versus creativity. But USC Dornsife scholars are taking that to task. I think there's creativity in both. <laughs> and I think that's how it's easy to connect the two. This is related to what I got my PhD in, which is algebraic topology, because what I did was I studied loops on surfaces. So this is supposed to represent a surface, and this is kind of at least how I would draw a surface. We could calculate using math and algebraic topology how many holes there are. So visually, we can see this. And it was inspired by Asian block prints, in particular, like Chinese seals quantum philosophy, introduction to laser physics. These are not books that you might see in an art studio. When I was in high school, when I was a teenager, I was interested in math, physics, literature, and art, and I couldn't decide. A lot of math concepts find themselves into my work. When you see a painting like this, where you have an aspect of reflection and the organization and symmetry of this image, as uh, the reflection comes down, to me, has a lot to do with reality itself. And whenever I think of reality, the way things work, what is an illusion and what is not, what's reality and what is not, is always connected to mathematics. This worldview dates back centuries. Some of art's most treasured works have deep roots in mathematical concepts. Take the golden ratio, also known as the divine proportion, Symmetry so perfect, it is considered the standard bearer of beauty. Composition really is the kind of center around which artists, where they kind of practice their specific form of mathematics. The most obvious example would be Raphael's School of Athens. The golden ratio there is, and the mathematical proportion is so structuring to imagining this kind of utopia. Fast forward to the 19th century, which really thought about empiricism. How can we describe the world empirically? And there we have Seurat's Grand Chat. But he slices up reality with numbers, and he actually creates mathematical compositions for color. Because he wanted to separate color to its most basic units that could then converge and hit our eyeball to create form. To me, it's the kind of, let's call it, searching for a new perspective. To me, that's what both art and math have in common. Math is a very beautiful thing in that you're taking, you're taking these sort of abstractions and this abstraction gives form to the world and gives you a vocabulary, a language, so to speak, to, to make sense of the world. And in many ways, that's very, very connected to art. 